G'day everyone, how are you? It's James Beasley, the Managing Director of The Six Group, and welcome to The Weekly Bees. So this week, uh, what I want to speak to you about is I was in a magazine um, and asked to comment for HRD Connect. And they came to me asking me to talk about what are potentially the three biggest trends that HR directors need to face. It was really hard to think of, well, limiting it to what are the three major things that worry HR directors these days, because there's a lot. I came up with, with three different areas that I think are absolutely most critical uh, for organizations and by virtue of that, the things that keep HRDs awake at night. And, and those were the rising importance of digital and its impact on the organization, which in turn looks at diversity. And then the third one, which is one that is probably a perennial problem, but um, is, is one that's gonna get further exacerbated as, as we go forward, um, is succession. But the two I wanted to focus on today were digital and diversity because they're inextricably linked. The reason I say that is when I look at organizations at the moment, there's a huge push for, um, for the organization to take on digital technologies and, and most of the organizations that do that, I kind of really wonder, do they truly understand the reason for digital? Have they actually worked out what is going to be the benefit to the organization or not? If I'm putting out there a sweeping generalization, I would say, yes, there is a business case for it, but the business case is, is mostly around how can we uh, use digital to help facilitate a, a better way of doing our transactional activities. Fine, great, but I'm not actually sure the senior leaders in a number of these organizations actually understand the impact that digital is actually going to have on the company from a cultural perspective, from an organizational perspective, a people perspective, and of course the second trend that I'm talking about, a diversity perspective as well. When I look into industries that are really pushing ahead with digital transformation and digital technologies, if we just take some of the traditional organizations such as financial institutions, um, health care companies. These are big institutions that have been around that have gone either from public to private. Um, I, I would also hesitate to say you know, quite traditional organizations. And yes, they can see the opportunity that digital presents. But the question I say is, do the senior execs actually truly understand what it means to their organizations? I take the classic example of banks and financial institutions. Some of them are way ahead when it comes to digital adoption uh, and, or what we call digital maturity. Uh, but the thing which they're really coping or trying to cope with is they've gone and hired hundreds of these digital people because the digital com economy relies on actually having some hard skills, which is coding, yeah? You need to be able to code to create the digital platforms that are required. That's great, but it means you go and hire hundreds of these digital people. In a traditional organization, which has traditionally grown up with pinstripe suits, um, bankers who are, who are very traditional in mindset, uh, all of a sudden you're hiring these younger people um, that uh, don't believe in the pinstripe suit mentality. One, don't really come from a background of being highly commercial in a very commercial environment. And two, are bought on because they can code exceedingly well and understand digital. But the impact that has on an organization from a, its willingness to, in, to look at diversity and inclusiveness, all of a sudden you'll have people and huge parts of the organization that are populated by this talent that come to work in jeans, van shoes, sometimes even a, you know, a t-shirt with Easy Tiger on it, still expecting to be taken seriously because they've been employed for something which they're brilliant at, which is coding and helping the organization become a, a digital organization. But the rub comes that in these traditional organizations, they're expecting these people to still behave and act and dress the same way that they do, but it doesn't happen. And so from an HR director's point of view, 
coping with a decision of um, we're going to go digital poses a huge amount of issues for them because it's the type of people they hire, the expectations, the competition that's out there, the fact that they, they see that now the world is at their feet. These people can go anywhere they want and do anything they want. And so therefore, how do organizations and, and, and human resources cope with bringing this whole new influence into a traditional company? And that comes to this second trend of diversity. So diversity isn't just people. So yes, whilst we've got people coming in, we've got people coming in with different ways of thinking. They've got different ways of thinking and expectations on, on how an organization should function, on what is actual leadership. Um, and I've talked about this before and, and my interpretation of followership, which is just because they're the leader doesn't mean they're going to be leading every single project. Theirs is all about highly collaborative environments. We've now got to a culture where it's accepted that global wor working is the norm. And by virtue of that, we're able to be a far more inclusive company because of global working, remote working, which has come as a result of digital capability. And so when you have traditional business wanting to engage in this whole thing of the economic and commercial boon of the digital economy and what it can do to cut costs, if that's the only reason you're doing it, wow, the HR director is gonna be in for a heck of a time. So when I look at this, sort of thing, I was then asked, well, what are the secrets of success then? And I think the secrets of success for an HR director and for a company is, when I coach HR directors, one of the biggest issues they have is that HR is seen as an administrative function and a cost function for the company. When in actual fact, it's probably the most important function now moving forward, particularly if digital is gonna be at the forefront of how organizations are structured and functioning. Diversity is at the forefront because without a diverse workforce, you ain't gonna have a company anymore. And then of course, the third one, which I talk about is succession as well. I'm not gonna talk about succession here today, but when I look at HR directors, they've got one of the hardest positions in a company. In my opinion, it's the most important function of an organization. You might have an oil company with all the oil in the ground, Without people and without getting that organization functioning, you ain't getting any oil out of the ground. You might have all the money in the bank in a vault that you could possibly have, but without people and getting the organization functioning, you ain't gonna have anything to do in terms of growing that money and bringing any sort of shareholder return. I think the organization needs to recognize the challenges that they're gonna have going forward, particularly for these two areas of the digital economy and diversity, and they should allow HR directors to actually do what they've been employed to do. And that is to actually be the leader and owner of the management practices that guide and nurture the people to actually deliver what the CEO, the shareholders, and the company actually requires of that organization. So HRDs, good luck out there. Um, I'm gonna talk about succession planning later in another weekly bees, uh, probably, because there's a big issue hitting the UK at the moment. But for me, digital economy equals diversity and an ability for an organization to, one, do they even know why they're doing digital? Have they actually worked out the business case for it? If they have, have they worked out what the impact that's gonna be for hiring people, diversity, working practices, and, and how that company is now going to function from a cultural and leadership perspective? That alone will keep an HR director awake at night. I know it keeps me awake as well. So there you go, guys. That's the Weekly Bees. Would love to hear your comments. Write them down below, particularly those that completely disagree with me. The last Weekly Bees where we did and talked about cultural gravity, we had some fantastic engagement on that. Thank you, Gary Sanderson. Thank you to all those people that made comments. I've replied back to you on LinkedIn. Um, I think the universal feedback was, uh, yeah, it's such an important issue and it's great that it's been highlighted and that we've got some little mechanisms to keep us focused on, on how we address cultural gravity as well. Um, but let's talk about digital and let's talk about diversity on the next one. Hear your comments. Thanks very much.